Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas, and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm your superintendent for the T.A. Brown Elementary School. Today we're talking about what goes on behind the skin. Well, this is the skin of the building, which would be brick or the stucco or the metal wall panel. The stuff that you don't see, but it's critically important to staying dry, is your exterior sheeting and your waterproofing. So exterior sheeting is just the exterior grade sheetrock that gets attached to the outside face of the metal studs. These get screwed in a certain pattern that's identified by the engineer that is there to make sure that the, the building is stronger, but it also locks all of the building wall components together. So your exterior sheeting goes in, uh, it's screwed to the studs, and then the next step is to start detailing or preparing the sheeting for waterproofing. To detail it out for all of the screw holes that you've made in attaching the sheeting to the stud, you have to run a little daub of mastic over the top of the screw hole to seal that penetration. And then we're using some flexible tape that goes over all of the joints and then there's more mastic that's applied over the top of that. Once all of that detailing is complete, then you're going to flash your window openings. Now your window opening is the same size as what your window frame needs to be, but it's hard to get that waterproof just right. So we use a piece of what we call peel and stick, which is just a, a thick, uh, thick piece of tape that rolls over the sheathing and into the framed opening. Once that's installed, then you can start installing the air barrier. The air barrier is like really thick paint that goes on to the outside face of the sheathing. And it coats over all of the mastic that you've already put down at the joints and the screw heads, over, over and around everything that you've already done for all of your penetrations and you essentially paint the entire exterior side of the building in this material. Once it dries, it has an elastic quality to it, so as the building moves with wind and time, it moves with the building and it doesn't crack, allowing water or moisture um, into the interior wall cavity. Once all of this is done, then we can start with the exterior finish of the building, the brick, the stucco, and the wall panel. So this is the part of the building that you don't ever see but is critical to staying dry or warm or cool depending upon what mother nature is doing on the outside. 